I use the method of uh, licking my fingers. <laughs> that way I keep a small dose of uh, infection going all the time. Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today we're doing another haul video. Basically because I'm tired of staring at my one touches and I want something else to list just to get a little bit motivated before I go back to my one touches. So what you're telling me is that uh, you are not sticking with uh, no. the target, the goal. No, I just, I need, I need some cute stuff. That's what you got me for. <laughs> and then I'll get back to the, the, the one touches y'all. I can't even get past the pile that kind of accumulates on the side of me because it has a spot that needs cleaned or it needs tested or it's blah. Or it's a small and I don't want to deal with smalls and it just kind of accumulates over here by me where I'm working over there <sighs> so I was like let's just do a real quick video that way I can get you know some of my favorites out of this stuff to get listed and then I'll I promise I'll get back to the one touches I'm also starting to do some of the smalls which are that they're it's I'm having a hard time figuring out a system because I'm logging everything in like I normally do. I'm still checking stuff to make sure they work, but I'm not taking pictures. And this is going to be for my new photographer when Robert gets the paperwork ready for us to get her started. So this last bit that's right here that you can't see is the last of the bags of plush from October's trip. And then I might get to some of the, the newer stuff that Robert's brought in already from this last trip. You've worked really hard on the, uh, I'm just giving you grief. You worked really hard on the old stuff and you got to take a break and work on some of the, the new stuff too. Because yes. it's a little more exciting and a little more fun. And we've been doing a little cleaning up down here. I've got, mm -hmm. I got, we, we had a giant pile of boxes that we've kept from things that shipped to us. And, and it was RJ's, out of control. RJ's grandma keeps them for us and... And I'm keeping some of that, but most of it is going away because they're just in oddball sizes that we're not going to use. And I'm sure that as soon as they're all gone, that I will find something that I need one of those I just got rid of boxes for. But you've worked really hard on it, and I'm going to get a shelf put over there so we can get all of our shipping supplies organized on that. Right. The stuff that's not real close, and that will make everything down here a little more organized. And then we could start in on more of these more shelves. Of the shelves. We've done one shelf so far because I got the bubble wrap up. Not one shelf. One, one shelf on a shelving one unit. One shelf on a shelving unit, yes. Like, right back there. Like yeah. we did the top shelf of one of those yeah. shelves that's back <laughs> behind her. Well, it's not that one. It's way over there, but something like that. But the bubble wrap's up now. Yep. The American and, Bubble Boy bubble wrap. That's good stuff. Yes. And it's going to be nice when I can get all of my like eBay shipping boxes on this one area and graduated by size because there's a lot of sizes in these boxes that we seem to pick the same ones over and over and where we could probably be using a smaller box or a, a little bit larger box. Um, and I forget that I have them because they're, they're stashed all over the place. One of the things we need is we need a box that's the size of a textbook because we, we ship not a lot of that, but when we do our homeschool books, it's a pain because we don't have a good box for it. And it's always, 99.9% .9 of the time, one media, media mail. So I can't use a priority box. Mm -mm. So I come over here and we have these large Sam's boxes that we get deliveries in. And I have to cut one of those down to wrap it in. Right. Because I don't want to just put a book in like a bubble mailer or a poly bag. I want it between something that's going to keep it rigid. And hopefully the post office will not attempt to bend. So we always put them between two pieces of cardboard um, but it would be nice if we could just have a box. Just throw it in and be done. Yep. Because it's time. Time is money, right? It is. Time is money. Time is money. All right. Let me show you a few things. Look, I already have one See right there. So this one will go on eBay. But I have to pick up the vintage Fisher Price. These are very interesting. Look. Camels, I'm assuming to a nativity set, but let me see that. I don't even know if they're from the same. This one is 
they would all not it be, says is Italy. They would not be from the same one because one is a two hump camel and one is a one hump camel. Well, but maybe they have the same. Both of them are marked Italy, and they both seem to have the same markings. So I don't know, but they're the um, not the resin, more like vinyl. So I don't know. I'm hoping at least fifteen twenty dollars for the two of them. All right, this, oh, oh, how cute. I thought I picked up two things. Wait, time uh, out, time out. I had to look. The dromedary camel has one hump, and the Bactrian camel has two humps. They store fat in these humps, which later can be used as an energy source. So they're two different types of camels. Right, but they could have came from the same nativity set, is what I said. I don't know. But they both say, it'll, they have the same markings on the bottom. But it's just odd that one's painted and one's not. And I always thought that they came from different parts of the world. I don't know. Like the two hump camels, the the back. One's I from Africa the, and one's from. I thought the Bactrian camels came from one part of the world and the dromedary camels came from another part of the oh, world. Oh, you sound so smart. I know. I sound much <laughs> smarter now than saying one hump, two hump. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably list them separate anyway. This is applause. Curious George, he, he might have had pajamas on. I don't know because it's got a little line all the way around. And then it looks like this little teddy monkey, teddy bear monkey, um, was attached and no longer is. Probably going to still be bread and butter. Walmart, of course. I love picking up the older Walmart. It's got the, the older tag. Probably bread and butter. Wild Republic has its little paper tag. It's going to be bread and butter. Look how cute. General Mills. What cereal is this? Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. Yeah, Lucky Charms. Green Hearts. No, what? Not green Hearts. Is it Pink Hearts, Yellow Moons, Green Clovers, and Blue Diamonds? That's all we have when I was a kid. The kids these days, they get like 40 different types of marshmallows can, in there. Yeah, you can even buy the cereal that's just the marshmallows. I wouldn't call that cereal. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to see Ad Pack Corporation. Doesn't have, really have a date. Very cute. I'm thinking 10 to $12. Kids of America. A koala bear. Probably 10 to $15. Kids of America just isn't, um, it just isn't as popular. But for the most part, it's, I think, same comparable value as, like, Kelly Toy. All right, hug and fun, or hug fun, not hug and love, hug fun. This probably will do better than a lot of the dog plush in hug fun because, for some reason, I do really well with Rottweilers. So I'm hoping maybe 20 20 25 dollars for it look how cute i don't think it's as vintagey as the one that's got like the pink body but this is drowsy by mattel trying to see if there's a date no date on here that's kind of odd but look I'm trying to see yeah there's a battery pack so don't know See if she works at all. No, nope, not gonna have to test her, but look how cute. I don't know, I'm hoping maybe 15 plus for her. Cute, look, pound puppies, but he's got his little underwear on, which I don't find that very often. It's gonna need a bath. I usually list these like 10 to 12 dollars it might be a little bit more because it has the underwear this is petting zoo look how cute she's got eyelashes don't, don't see anything which makes me remember a, a comment or a facebook post um not every plush has a name. Not every manufacturer names their plush. There are certain ones, like Rust does a whole lot of naming of their plush. Of course, Ty. Um, I don't, but to say that this 
is a specific name of a plush, don't get caught up in the details sometimes. Like Petting Zoo, I do not think gave names. This is just going to be a cute little white seal. I'll do like blue, glitter, eyes, black bow, those types of keywords. But don't get hung up on some of the details. Um, If it's not on the tag, I, I don't stress about it because somebody who's looking for this Petting Zoo seal, even if it had a name, probably doesn't remember the name and is just going to be looking for basic keywords. So don't get caught up in the details. Time is money. Just get it listed. And time is time for me to look up things about camels. I had to look. <sighs> okay. And? Dromedaries come from the deserts of West Asia, the Arabian Peninsula, and Africa. Bactrian camels come from Central and East Asia. Now, if you want to appear smart to know your camels apart <laughs> and to know which one has two humps and which one has one, if you lay the letter B over on its side, it has two humps on it. That's the Bactrian that has two humps, and the dromedary would just have one hump for the D. So now you can appear extra smart when conversing camels with your friends. Okay. Will I remember? No. At first, I thought when I saw his eyes that he was Ikea, but he's not. He's Cole's Care. Cute little dinosaur. Probably going to be bread and butter. If I have another Cole's dinosaur, I may go ahead and add him to it. Nanco, but y'all, I pick up Nanco even though it's just really not the greatest quality because look, purple spider. I pick up a lot of character toys that are Nanco. And I think recently I found a really nice quality plush that was Nanco. So a lot of times it's it catches my attention on the item itself and then the brand sometimes, you know, would make me decide whether I'm going to pick it up or not. Oh, I don't know what you are. Oh, look. It says Pink Parade. I've got something else that's in that brand. 2007 Pink Parade. That's it. Very cute. Pink Frosted is what I'll use. Plush. Had to grab it. His little shoe's coming loose right there, but at least it's not gone. Pretty sure this, yeah, Russ Troll Dolls. It's probably the newer me of picking stuff up this last trip. Wouldn't have grabbed this just because it's it's dirty. And I have found sometimes when I try to wash these in the washing machine, the whole hair comes off because it's just glued on there. And then you have this concaved head. So I don't know. I haven't decided what I'll do with it. Got an outfit. This is Bananas in Pajamas, number two. I'm thinking maybe $10 to $15 as a replacement. Bananas in Pajamas is really hard to find anymore. Maybe it might be even more. So based on that, I'm assuming bananas have two arms and two legs? Yes. That particular one does. Oh, he's losing his boxers. We might as well pull them back up. All right. Uh, Build-A-Bear. Uh, you know what? I just listed a blue one, I think. Depending on value of each one of them, I may go ahead and just make a lot of two. I think I could still fit two of these in a large priority box. Loveys. This one is Kelly Toy Knit Elephant Gray. A lot of the Kelly Toy plush, if you look on the back of the front tag, or sometimes they back tag, it gives you the date. So this was 2018, so that'll help me determine, you know, price and look stuff up. Probably going to be bread and butter. Center of Endangered something. Oh, Endangered Wolf Center. There we go. Is that a wolf? There's actually, west of St. Louis, they do have an endangered wolf center there. That's probably where it's from, but it is actually Wish Pets, and his name is Mark. I think, Wish... they, have, I think they have red wolves there. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, Wish Pets is one of the ones that they almost always have a name there for their plush. This is TV Trading Company. I love that. 
brown. I'll use red checkered ribbon. Just very cute. Probably still only going to be, you know, bread and butter, $8 to $12. He's interesting. Let's see. Can't read this teeny tiny tag. It says 1988. Oh, MJC. I think there's a whole series called like Perfection by MJC. Yep, right here on the back. But very cute. I tend to pick up most vintage. 1990s is vintage, y'all. Actually, up to 2004 now is considered vintage. So... I tend to pick up most. It's probably still only going to be bread and butter. Baby Gund, My First Pony. I don't know. I can't remember if I've ever had a My First Pony. I don't know what the value will be. It does have its paper tag. It needs a bath, I think. So more than likely, I will pull this off. Um, it's To me, it's more important that the plush be clean than it is for it to have its original paper tag. Because I don't list anything except maybe like puzzles that are still sealed. I don't list anything new. Whether it has its tag or not, I do not. And that goes for clothing also. I think this is uh, what they call Graphics International. Yeah, 1983. The tags look just like Hallmark. But it's called a Snuggable. I think I have a larger one of these. Maybe, maybe. But, oh, there's some writing on the inside of the tag. It was given away in 1986. His name is Ralph, by the way. Very cute. Probably bread and butter. Now, y'all, at first I thought this was wrinkled um, by Gons, but it's not. Doesn't it look just like it? But it, it's still a puppet, but the Gons ones, the, the hand thing is right here behind his head. This is actually by Animal Plaything. I'm trying to see if there's a date. I thought that was a date, but I think it's an item number. 1986, made in Korea. He needs his stuffing shifted a little bit. But very, very cute. But I can't say I've had one of these before. Don't know. I'm hoping, I don't know, 25 plus for him. Wait, look, I think there's more. I remember finding these. Look, these are those giant microbes. Now, this one is dust mite, and this one is, guess, you guess, Robert. It's that thing that cows get. Mad cow, he is. So very cute. I always list these separately because there are, there are collectors for these. So, very cute, but most of them are bread and butter. Looks like something, a, a virus that a gateway computer would get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. All right, what are you? Regent Products Corp. I like that. Look, he's got a button eye. Corn cob pipe? Nope. But he's got a a dollar sticker on here. It says table decor. Eight to ten inches. Huh. I don't know. I'm hoping ten to twelve dollars for him. Oh. I, yikes. Oh, this is Baby Alive. Not quite sure how to get you back together. Oh. I think it's just like a diaper. Change yeah, there it says Baby Alive. I think I have a couple of pieces over there that are Baby Alive. If not, I'll check to see if I've got anything else listed right now, and I'll just add this to the lot. I do really well, especially with some of the bottles for Baby Alive. One thing I do not miss is changing diapers. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nope. This is Cuddle Barn. I find these every once in a while. But it says it is Chili Junior. It is, let's see. No. Hopefully it doesn't have corroded batteries in it. I'm hoping, look, I think it's advertising too. It says XDI Express Data Inc. 
Yep. I don't know. Let's go 20 bucks or so for it. Of course you would say data instead of data. This is the end of the Squishmallows. I, there are some still floating around here. I think I just actually listed like a set of two. That's going to be my philosophy with these is I'm going to make small lots of them and hopefully get them moving. But I do not plan on picking up Squishmallows anymore unless they're worth quite a bit of money because you, they are such long tail we picked up a couple this last time didn't we i don't remember but they were they were different they weren't the normal thing like that one of them was kind of tall and yeah and this one may not even come clean they're hard to get clean also for some reason this fabric does not want to clean easily all right a couple of smalls this is one of those says hot wheels i'm i call them like the monster jams a lot of them have names. I'll do Google Lens to figure out who it is. But a lot of times these just by themselves are um, like $8 to $12. Little people, I've got a whole pile of them over there. And I think I'm going to rethink my strategy. I was doing like sets of two of these when I list them for like $7.95 or $9.95. I think I'm going to make larger lots. Maybe something that's comparable to like $19.95 and start seeing how those types of lots sell for me. But I still sell little people. And then this is Lego Duplo, but I am pretty sure he is Sir Topham Hat from Thomas. So if I have a Thomas Duplo lot, I'll add him. If not, I will start one. Even if he's only worth five or six bucks, I'll just go ahead and list him. And then as I find anything else, Thomas, I will add it to that lot. All right, last two, and these were actually um, from this last trip, but they were wet. And this is why, you know, they're... Wet with what? They were, uh, who knows? They were wet. It just seemed like everything in a couple of bins probably got left out in the rain. And then they just went ahead and threw them in the bins anyway. But there's a lot of people who disagree with this, but I don't wear gloves. I don't. I need to feel quality. I need to feel if stuff's wet because if I had packed these not knowing they were wet and packed them into bags, like we haven't unpacked yet. All of my stuff is still sitting out in the trailer except for these few bags and it would have probably ruined if not, if soured the smell would have ruined but it also probably would have mildewed. So, you know, maybe you choose to do one glove and not one glove just so that you can feel stuff but I tend to just not wear gloves at all. I primarily pick with my right hand anyway. Um, so I just make sure I don't touch my face or anything with my right hand. I use the method of uh, licking my fingers Stop. that way I keep a small dose of uh, infection going all the time he and, says I don't that. Get, and I don't get very sick very often because of that. He's, yeah, he's, he doesn't really, but yeah, this is, it says Kindergund, and it is Gund 19, 1980, I think it's six, yeah, 1986, it has a rattle, I've had these in the past, but I do not remember, um, I'll check my inventory, I always try to check my inventory to make sure I, First of all, don't have this exact item listed because it's so easy to list by just going in and editing the quantity. And then I just go put it in the same bin with the same inventory number. But also it helps me find um, if I've got something similar that's smaller. So I, I'm hoping maybe $20, $25 for him. And then this big old pillow plush. It is, let's see. Probably Best Made Toys. Yep, Best Made Toys. It, it's small. I mean, it's it's going to scrunch up and be able to fit in a large priority box. Um, and I tend to do okay with these. You know, I'm hoping, I don't know, 15 20 plus dollars for it. And it's really not that heavy. All right. Now I've got some stuff to list. <laughs> So y'all, let's all get to work. Wait, you had stuff to list. Oh yeah. <laughs> get to work. Bye.